Brad Hall here with a very enormous year-end episode. I've got a ton of shoes sitting right next to me. That's because I'm hosting the Brad Hall Sneaker Award Show. On this card, I've got 16 awards that I'm giving out, including that very coveted My Favorite Shoe of the Year Award. All of that is coming up right ahead. There were a lot of shoes in 2020 worthy of awards. I've got 16 of them to give out. That is a lot of awards, so I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly and efficiently as possible. So let's get right into this list. A lot of great shoes in the running for best re-release. I am happy to announce that I am giving it to the Yeezy 350 V2 red colorway. It's a classic Yeezy 350 colorway that I thought might not see the light of day ever again. Very excited that it came back out this December. Up next, we've got the most unnecessary Yeezy release of the year. I'm giving it to the clay brown pair of the 700 V3. It's actually a very nice looking shoe, but it is fairly similar to that Alva colorway. There haven't been a ton of 700 V3 releases yet. I'm surprised they're going so similar so soon. And that's why it wins the most unnecessary Yeezy release of the year. This is the award for the best sneaker trend. And that trend is earth friendliness. Nike did some cool stuff with it this year, of course. You've got that whole Space Hippie collection. Nike is shipping the shoes in the box to eliminate that extra box and the shoes themselves. They're made out of recycled materials. The worst sneaker trend of the year, I am giving it to that Infinity Lace on the Yeezys. It's popping up on more and more releases. The more I see this, the more I just want a traditional lace. I want a little bit of bulk up here. That's what those loops get you, so I am just becoming less of a fan of this the more I see it. The award for best earth tone Yeezy colorway, I am giving that to that sand taupe pair. This is just a very good earth tone colorway. This next shoe wins the award for shoe I wasn't excited about until I saw it in person. That shoe is inside of this box and Maybe you can guess what it is. It is the Michael Air Jordan 11 Jubilee colorway. I normally get really excited for that holiday 11 release. I was not feeling it for these when I saw those photos, but in person, I really love them. They're very clean. It's a classy, simple colorway that gets me really excited. The award for sneaker I wish I got in my size that goes to the off-white Michael Air Jordan 5. I was very fortunate to get this shoe on the sneakers app, but I wasn't able to get it in my size. Even though I can't wear it, I can hold it and stare at it and really appreciate it in different ways. This next award is a shoe that isn't made by Nike or Adidas. I am giving that award to the Asics UB1 hyphen S. This is a very nice colorway and there are some nice subtle details. The mesh, it's got kind of a plastic fiber woven in, makes it feel really durable. So that is the winner of a shoe that isn't made by Nike or Adidas. We're about at the halfway point and things are starting to heat up. This next category, it was highly contested. It is for the sneaker that most looks like food. Earlier in the year, you had that Ben & Jerry's dunk. Just recently, you had the Turducken dunk. I'm sure I missed some other food-related shoes, but my winner for this award is the Burger Dunk. This one definitely best represents food to me. You see that bun, you see the sesame seeds, you see the lettuce, you can picture a burger. So that's why it wins my award. The award for the shoe that I'm wearing right now, that goes to the Imran Potato Lobster. This next award goes to the best shoe to be like Mike, but present day Mike. That shoe is the Michael Air Jordan 1 Center Court. If you wanna be like Mike, but current day Mike, this is your shoe. This next category, this is a category that also had really stiff competition 
There were a lot of good options for this one, but I did have to pick one. It is an award show, and I am happy to announce that the best Brad Hall custom shoe this year, it goes to that Travis Scott Air Max 270. I made multiple custom shoes this year. They were all good, but this one, I think this one comes out on top because I did get to use a stencil and I'm very good at following directions. Every year we get a lot of Michael Air Jordan 1 releases. 2020 was no different. For my favorite this year, I ended up picking actually three. I picked the 85 pair because I love this new model so much. It feels more substantial. I like that a lot. I don't throw around the term new classic that often, but I do think it's fair. You would call this mocha colorway a new classic. It's that good. And then you've got that biohack colorway. I love how different it is, but it's also very good looking. The award for shoe I haven't worn outside yet because of the pandemic, that goes to the Yeezy Quantum Lifestyle pair. I've worn this around the house a lot, but I just don't go outside that much. I'm wearing fewer and fewer shoes in the outdoors. Hopefully in 2021, I will wear this outside. I'll turn some heads, but until then, I will keep wearing it around the house mostly to clean. We're down to just two more awards. And the first of the final two is the biggest disappointment of the year. That award goes to the Brad Hall one, never releasing. That was a really big disappointment. So on to the final award, the My Favorite Shoe of the Year Award. I am giving that to a shoe that I think is the perfect 2020 shoe. It is the Yeezy Foam Runner. In a year that everyone spent so much time inside, this is the kind of shoe that you wanna wear indoors. It's also made of a foam that's a little bit more earth friendly. It's got algae in it. And of course, it's pretty cool looking. And that is why it is my favorite shoe of the year. So that concludes the Brad Hall Sneaker Award Show next year. What's gonna win those awards? We've already got some exciting releases planned. I've definitely got my eyes on that 85 Michael Air Jordan 1 coming out early this year. It looks like there are a lot of colorful versions of the Yeezy 700, and maybe, just maybe, this year, we see that Brad Hall shoe. And if we do, you better believe it is gonna sweep that award show next year. So stay tuned for that. Hope everyone has a great 2021. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe.